Welcome to this painting tutorial. How's it going everyone? Welcome to this video. In this video we're going to look at how to paint battlefield bases. These are the regular bases you see painted on Games Workshop's boxes and artwork. And these are fairly simple to make. They look like a generic field that will work with most tabletops. The bright but neutral colors of the browns make most miniatures stand out on these bases no matter what their color is. And I think they look pretty cool. I hope you enjoy this video, let's get to it. I'm going to start by applying glue to the base. For that I'm going to use white glue or PVA glue and I'm going to use an old stiff brush. You don't want to use your fancy brushes for this. And also you can do it before painting if you find it troublesome to put glue on top of your painting model. Uh, it's not that difficult or different. You, ju you just have to make sure you don't put any sand on the feet or on any glue on the feet and any sand that just uh, falls over your painted uh, parts of the miniature it will just uh, you can just swipe it off with a clean brush uh, but just try to paint the whole base of this miniature with the glue and just avoid the feet it's fairly simple it's not that difficult and uh, that's it Next, I'm going to dip the base of the model on some fine sand mixture. This is my special mixture. It's mostly fine sand that I bought at an arts and crafts store, mixed in with a little bit of construction sand or playground sand. And this gives a little bit of variation of rock sizes that looks like a mixture of fine grit and medium grit sand. Once you allow that to dry, I'm going to use Mornfang Brown and I'm going to apply this a little bit more thinned down than usual so it flows into the cracks of the sand. You should allow the sand before applying this step to dry at least an hour to maybe overnight, that would be ideal. Uh, but we're going to thin this down a little, a little bit more than usual so it flows into the cracks and colors all of the area easily. And uh, just make sure to be careful around the feet and don't paint the feet. And that's it. Once it's dry, I'm going to apply a wash. And for that, I'm going to use Agrax Earthshade. You can go for a lighter tone, such as Seraphim Sepia, that's going to give it a more reddish tone. But I wanted to really uh, get in some shadows with Agrax Earthshade, and that's what I went with. You could also not wash at all, and you're going to get a much lighter looking base. Uh, but if you want some depth, you should definitely use some wash. These steps all take a little bit to, to dry, at least uh, an hour to 30 minutes. So you might want to do a ton of these models at a time. So once you're done with maybe the last one, you can start uh, applying the next step to the first one and you can uh, continue working that way. Once it's done, I'm going to apply a dry brush. I'm going to use Ushapti Bone and with a dry brush, I'm just going to dip the tip on the, on the, onto this paint and then use a paper towel and wipe most of the paint onto the paper towel and leaving very little on the brush and just try to wipe it across the sand so that it only catches on the raised areas and it's going to give a dry brushed effect. I'm using a uh, monster brush from Army Painter. This brush is old and doesn't hold the tip anymore, so I'm going to just use it as a dry brush and make sure that the, the, the tip of the brush is very dry, almost no paint on it, and it's going to catch on the edges, as you see. Once it's done, I'm going to paint the beveled edge of the base. For that, I'm going to use Steel Legion Drab. This is a base color, but even even though it is a base color, it doesn't cover that well in the first try. So make sure to apply one thin coat, let it dry and apply a second one. Don't move it a lot while you're applying it because you might tear uh, drying layers of paint and create strokes and paint crumbs. Just try to apply as thin as a coat as you can and move across the base quickly and apply a couple coats so that it covers well. Once it's done, I'm going to go back with a PBA glue or white glue and I'm going to use again the brush that I used at the beginning for applying the glue and I'm going to just paint some random patches of glue around the base. The smaller, the more realistic they seem, I think. Uh, you can do like build big piles of uh, grass if you want, but I think the more realistic way to paint them is just do small dabs here and there of this PBA glue and once it's done, I'm going to use a pair of tweezers and put them on top of my uh, 
Battlefield grass, this is what I'm using uh, for this. And I just uh, I grab a little bit of it and let it drop onto the, the PVA glue. Once you have enough of it, you can just shake the excess off and then blow on it. And that's just gonna make the grass stand and you're done. And this is the finished base. This is a very simple way of doing your bases. They look very generic, uh, but if you want a generic kind of base that'll fit uh, most of the battlefields you will play in, this is a good way to go. Also, it's very neutral. It doesn't intrude very much on any color scheme that you use. Uh, it only has the green, but then again, that's like a color that you find in nature, but most browns, grays and blacks and whites are neutral colors that won't interfere very much with your color scheme. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you find it entertaining and helpful. And if you did, please like the video, comment on it and subscribe to the channel to see more videos in the future. That really helps me out. Also, you can become a patron and follow me on Facebook if you really want to support my channel. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you very much for watching. You stayed great. Thank you very much for supporting my channel and if you would like to become a patron, there is a link to my Patreon page in the description below. Your contributions help pay for my work and keeps the channel going. A single dollar a month is more than enough and you can cancel at any time. If you can't, don't worry, you can support my channel by simply watching my videos and sharing them with your friends. Thank you for watching, have a great day and I'll see you on the next one.